Hello, boys and girls. My name is Mrs. English, and I'm a third grade teacher at Galloway Elementary School. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about multiplication strategies. Our standard that we're going to be focusing on is, I can use multiplication to figure out the total number of objects in an array or equal groups. Now, the first thing that we're going to go over are the vocabulary words. When you are talking about multiplication strategies, you need to know that you're always normally working with two numbers. These two numbers are called factors. When you multiply the two numbers, you get your answer, which becomes your product. Now, I know a lot of us are used to seeing this symbol here. We normally just say, oh, we're multiplying, but it actually means groups of. So three groups of four will give me my product. So the first strategy that we're going to talk about is using equal groups, modeling. I know that a lot of times we love to draw, so we're gonna model. Model is the same thing as drawing. So our first factor says three. This is telling me how many groups. Miss English has drawn three circles to show my three groups. Now, it's three groups of four. So in each group, I have how many objects? Four, great. Four objects here, four objects there, and another four objects. Now, when I add all of these up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, I get my products, which is 12. Another strategy that you can use is repeated addition. With repeated addition, I will look at my model and see how many objects I have in each. Four, four, and four. Repeated addition is just using that same number over and over to get your answer. So once again, four plus four plus four would give me my product, which is 12. The last strategy is called using an array. With an array, we use rows and columns to show our product. Now, your rows are going across and your columns are going up and down. Your first number, once again, tells you how many rows. So I draw one X to represent my row. I put four objects in each row. So one, two, three, four. Now remember that arrays have to have equal groups. You cannot have one row with one X in it and the others with four. They all have to have the same number of X's in each group. So once again, I have created my model and I'm going to add them. I can count by ones, I can count by twos. Some of us may be able to count by fours, but whatever is easy for you to do, that's what you can do. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, and it gives me my product again. So going back over the strategies, when you want to express how to multiply two numbers, you can use a model, you can use an array, or you can use repeated addition. Remember that for third, fourth, and fifth grade, you will be required at times to write about how you got your strategy. So it's not always about knowing that three times four is 12, but how did I get my answer? And so, Miss English has something for you to do at home. If you have some Uno cards at home, if you have some playing cards at home, or you may have some dice that came out of your Monopoly game or any other game, you can use these to actually do this assignment that I'm going to give you. So, Miss English has a sheet of paper. If you have notebook paper, copy paper, cardstock, any paper, you can make a four square. To make a four square, fold it hamburger style, one fold, and then you fold it again, and then you should have fourths, which that's another lesson, fractions. We're not talking about that today, though. Now, after you get your fourths, you're going to label each square using our different strategies. Now, when you have your cards all set up and you've taken out your skips and your queens and jacks and jokers, you pull two of those cards, and Miss English has four, sorry, eight and six, and I will actually write that problem here. Now, I will actually show repeated addition, I will show a model, and then I will show an array. And the last thing I would want you to do is actually write in this box here where you actually wrote your problem, write about how you show one of these strategies for multiplication. So these are our strategies for multiplication um, and 
remember that multiplication builds on a lot of other strategies. So once you get it down packed in third grade, you should be ready for fourth, fifth, and beyond. Thank you.